I'd like to propose an amendment with the insertion of a word not after selectman. So no. not enter. No, I'm not going to entertain that. We've got some court cases on that topic, so I'm not going to entertain the not amendment. Then I'll be speaking on the article itself. Okay, as amended. Go ahead. As amended. I'm opposed to this article. Now, I understand that, uh, and you please correct me, I have a question. Does the selectmen presently have the authority to enter into this negotiation? Is that not correct? Is there anyone on the Board of Selectmen who can answer that question? Yes, they can. Just my knowledge, yes. Would you like to comment, Mark? The uh, state of New Hampshire DOT has been, as uh, Vic Lassard mentioned, trying to get the town of Hampton to take over obligations that it assumed back in 1933. I think there's a legal question about that. So we don't know whether the selectmen have the, presently have the authority. Well, it depends on what the state is offering. Uh, if if, for instance, the state were offering to do something for the town that's over and above, that are things that we do now, let's say. In other words, if they were offering to do something for us in return, that would, ha that would be one thing. If they're just telling us, you've got to do something that we, we gave away back, in, that we took on in 1933, that's something different. It really depends on what the let agreement says. Let me, let me qualify my question a little further. No, if let's, this let's, article is me, passed, sir, sir, will, sir, it, will sir. it further enable the selection? Excuse me. If you'd like to have the privilege of the microphone, mm -hmm. you'll follow the instructions that yeah. we issued at the beginning of the meeting, which is all questions go through the moderator. Oh, okay. This is not a day to have a conversation with Mr. Mr. Gerald. If I may, through you. Ask the question. Yes, on um, on the article as amended. On the Go article ahead. as amended. Um, if this article passes, will it further empower the selectmen in a way that they're not presently empowered to enter into such an agreement? Yeah, I, I'm going to take a stab at this answer, and and we've gone over this. I think the board is looking for a sense from the voters as to whether the voters would like the board to enter into these types of discussions. We've heard a lot of discussion here today from folks who don't want that conversation. Does that further empower them? I don't know. You heard Attorney Gerald say that he wasn't sure whether the town had the authority at present to enter it. It would depend on the nature of the conversation. So I believe in listening to Mr. Griffin and others that they intended this article before it was amended and they support the amendment to get a sense from the townspeople as to whether the townspeople would encourage the selectmen to enter into these discussions with the state. I see. So uh, since we've got clarity on that, I appreciate that, Mr. Monterey. What we don't have here is any certainty as to what this is going to do. Uh, we don't know whether or not they currently have, the, as I say, the Board of Selectmen currently has the, the power. The answer from the attorney is it depends on the standard always safe answer for any legal question. It depends. Well, um, I guess my support should, it, it, it depends as well. What agreement are you going to enter into? We don't know. I don't think I want to enter into a blank check, because then, of course, it would depend on whether I had the money to cover it, and that's basically what we're dealing with here on that level. And on the secondary level here, we're talking about potentiality of uh, local funding, that is to say us, paying for maintaining a state asset which we really don't have any control over. And that just seems to me to be foolish. I urge the entire planet to vote no on this. Thank you, Mr. Jones. 